Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic will be the history of technologies used to find stem cells and the discoveries these findings led to. As said in this timeline, over the past 70 years, many advancements in stem cell technologies have led to international discoveries, indicating their potential to be used in the future. Here are a few key events. The first use of stem cells was in the 1950s, where bone marrow transplants in which stem cells were present were used to treat leukemia. Next, in 1961, scientist Dr. Tillman McCulloch accidentally published findings in radiation research that proved the existence of stem cells, as cells that can self-renew and repeat. In 1981, Martin Evans is the first to identify embryonic stem cell in mice. Then, in 1995, the American Congress bans federal funding for embryo research through the Dickey Wicker Amendment. In 1997, Dolly's sheep was the first artificial clone, from which researchers speculate that similar hybrids made by fusing embryonic stem cells with adult cells could be used to create genetically matched tissues and organs. In 1998, scientist James Thompson isolates human embryonic stem cells, and in 2001, President Bush prohibits any funding of federal research for embryonic stem cells, but his policy doesn't affect private research. In 2006-2007, Dr. Yamaka and Dr. Thompson published separate papers on their separate discoveries of induced pluripotent cells. Then, in 2008, Barack Obama is elected and promises to change the current restrictions on human embryonic stem cell research. And in 2009, he lifts Bush's 2001 executive order, removing the barriers on embryonic stem cell research in America. In 2010, the first patient in the clinical trial of human embryonic stem cell therapy was enrolled, and later, another clinical trial to test human embryonic stem cell treatment of patients with Stargate's macular dystrophy, a disease that causes blindness, is founded. In 2011, Pope Benedict spoke out in favour of adult stem cell research, but not embryonic stem cell research. And in 2012, scientists convert cells found in urine into pluripotent stem cells that could be used to create neurons and brain cells. In 2013, stem cells are recovered from cloned human embryos, human liver tissues claimed to be grown from stem cells, and the first ever test tube burger was made from cow stem cells. In 2014, scientists make custom-made organs and body parts using stem cells, and other scientists produce embryonic stem cells from adult cells, using therapeutic cloning. In 2015, a study claims to have used stem cells to recreate patient-specific heart cells, and later, Japanese researchers created lab-grown kidneys that functioned successfully. In 2016, hem human embryonic stem cells are developed into the cell type and structure necessary to replicate a working pituitary gland, and President Obama also signed the 21st Century Cures Act. And lastly, in 2018, researchers mixed stem cells from the cornea of a healthy donor with, a with collagen and algae molecules to create a bioink, in which they 3D printed into an artificial cornea.